are heading into the final stretch. How much notice did you give these guys, Steve, that the show is ending? With the show's break? ending? We, yeah. <laughs> I, the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. Oh, no, you see what you're doing. Uh, we, we actually knew towards the end of last season that it was probably going to be the final season. And that's one of the reasons that it was such a bloodbath at the end of last season. <laughs> yeah, because we were moving the story. We're going to jump forward about six months into the, the final game with uh, Marcus Crassus. So uh, the rumors started floating around, I think, uh, early in the season. Is that when... Yeah, yeah. I heard that might be the pretty last early. I, I heard, I heard things, and as, as it progressed, you could sort of tell from scripture, like yeah, they're probably going to wind this thing up, but in a pretty amazing way. But it looks at the ways, it, ways it was going, you know, episode two or three, and yeah, then then it sort of became official. Yeah, and we were still it. talking about it early in the season yeah. when we were working on it because uh, we were trying to figure out: is it ten episodes? Is it twenty episodes? Is it sixteen? <laughs> So there was a lot of different permutations flying around and a lot of calculations being made by, uh, by the bean counter. American top scientists. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> top scientists were working on it and they came back, yeah, how about 10 episodes? <laughs> uh, obviously history plays out as history plays out and Lucy, you are exempt from this question, but how, how would the rest of you like to see things wrap up for your characters in the, in the final season? I want to go into the future using a time machine. No? <laughs> just a maybe. Well, just know, think about it. Just think about it. We it's told you all that. Something yeah. like that. So basically, we're damned. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's just the epic final battle between, you know, the slave rebellion and the Romans. You know, the Romans have decided that we're not just a small force that are, are sort of a, a annoying itch. We become quite a, you know, a, a group of thousands, uh, you know, rising up against the, the mighty empire. Mm. And so, you know, this, this season is, is, is epic beyond any other scale yeah. of any other season we've had. You know, it's, it's the battle of thousands, it's not two guys in an arena. Yeah. I think it was yeah. hundreds of thousands, wasn't it? Uh, but we can only afford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we still get up to, what, the 60,000 range? It's there's, pretty big. Yeah, yeah there's, some, uh, there's some big shots of thousands. And there's a trailer coming fighting. that will kind yeah. of explain the magnitude exactly. of, the, of what we're doing, and it's, it's exciting. It, Historically in this end game, it's interesting because Liam and, and Manu play historical characters, so mm. their fate is quasi set. Um, mm. We take some liberties of when things happen for dramatic reasons. Uh, with Cynthia, her character is fictional, so that's that's <laughs> anybody's guess. She doesn't feel fictional. <laughs> She's right there. Just like with Liam. Lucy's character <laughs> was fictional, so th those give us a little more freedom. Mm. But with these two guys, it's. Uh, if you read the history books, you kind of sort of almost know what. Yeah, but even Spartacus himself, you've got you've, you've got the leeway to play with a lot of what happens and how it happens because it's it's a it's a big question mark at the end. So it is because most people think because of the uh, Kirk Douglas movie that Spartacus was crucified, where historically he wasn't. His body was never found. Yeah, or yeah, exactly, you don't know. That's the thing. So you're, you're not just, really you're sure just, what happened because you got and, lost and, in the throng. It's one of those things where you know if, if you go to somebody on the street and you say, "Have you heard of the name Spartacus?" You know, whether it be because of Kirk Douglas in that film, or whether just because of him being of history, the, the word Spartacus means so much to everybody, mm. that actually to put a background to it, to give it a, a, a story context that allows our fans and our audience to watch it over four, three or four years, you know, of, of a series, and for them to be so in, enraptured in, in both the, the, the drama and, uh, and the romance that goes on and all these storylines that, you know, you, you could only be wondering how that life of Spartacus was like. You know, I mean, Stephen's just uh, told it in such a special way that, you know, mm. you know even though we're, we're, we're sad to be coming into our last season, you know, we know we've done, uh, a, you know, a bookend that's, that's, that's really encaptured what the word Spartacus means. Yeah, I think we're really lucky to have be allowed to end the show on our own terms. As much as it's sad that it's ending for, for everyone, I think, on some level, it's, it's really exciting to be able to take the story and end on the, you know, knowing that the last episode of this season will be the biggest, craziest episode, you know, this entire season actually is just, it's like, it's like every final finale episode, each, 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 uh, each episode is like another finale. So it's, it's everything, you know, it, 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 all the rules are out. It's, it's, it's cool to be able to be in a show where that, the, the stakes are so high and every episode is trying to top the last one. Well, you know, just before we jumped on the plane to come to Comic Con, you know, we were on set. Yeah. You know, just basically what, running five from scenes. He's still got makeup like on his hands. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My makeup artist is upset that I tried to get it off just for publicity. She'll, yeah, I can, yeah, I can see know, it in my we're, mind. We're, we're, we left the scene on set 
And then I was just saying to Liam, Liam, that was the biggest scene we've ever done. Yeah. You know, the intensity of it. You know, to say that in regard to our, our past seasons is, is yeah. really something big. To say that we were both just sort of like red in the face and exhausted. Exhausted <laughs> from the scene that we just done because the, 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 the premise of it was just so huge. And and then mine and Ellie lost his bags, and I did lose my bags. It's good times. <laughs> <laughs> it's exhausting work. But it's cool. It's great. It is. It's a real privilege to be able to do something so high stakes, high, so exciting. Lucy, what did you think of your character's endgame? I felt the honour of following in the footsteps of Sigourney Weaver in Alien Street because she's the <laughs> high priestess of all women in action, tele you know, filming. <laughs> and I felt that was a really magnificent way to go out. I knew from the beginning, way before the, even we began the season, how this would play out. I don't know if anybody else knew it, but it was really important to know what her end game was because everything was part of the prophecy to take the baby to her husband in the afterlife. That was cool. So, so I didn't find that out until probably at eight when I heard some rumor about it. I went, no, really? <laughs> yeah. You but crazy it was, lady. Yeah, it was That's all awesome. planned the whole time. Mm, and cool. Love died when her husband died and when Crixus stabbed the baby right out of her belly <laughs> from then on. Mean Crixus. <laughs> there, there was, yeah, love died and so the, Olivia, your good friend, was really just an incubator. Oh, creepy. The whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, then we've had, um, you know, the circumstances on our show, uh, which have, uh, you know, how could our show have survived? You know, um, mm. you know, um, you know, it's really important as we come toward the end of the show to, to realise again just a wonderful job that Andy Whitfield mm. did. Uh, and, uh, you know, as he has tattooed, had him tattooed on his arm when he was going through his, his cancer therapy, you know, he had Be Here Now, which is a documentary that's going to come out soon, and I hope everybody that's a fan of the show will, will make sure they go and watch that, because and the, man, the, still man behind, too, which is great. the man behind the character was much more of a man <laughs> than what people realise, and so, uh, you know, this, this documentary that will come out soon, uh, Be Here Now, is, is going to be a wonderful insight into into uh, Andy Whitfield and, and the man he, he was. And, uh, you know, but, but for our show to actually be able to recast like Liam, you know, in, in the lead role, you know, there were some big industry people who were saying, it can't be done. Your show's not gonna work now that you've, you've you're replacing the lead. But Liam came in and then uh, just knocked it out of the park, you know, and uh, it's a different experience, it's a different journey again, but, uh, but you know, because of the wonderful writing and just the incredible post-production teams and special effects teams that we've got, costume design, stunt coordination, stuff like that, our shows just gotten better and better. And, and then we've got, you know, I mean, Cynthia, you know, coming in and replacing uh, the Navia role, you know, again, you know, there's these replacements of huge characters and oh, yet you should nothing see it to it. That's a phone. <laughs> oh, oh, slam. Oh, it's, oh, it's Lucy's phone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a slab rule that's in effect in America? Because in Australia, you get a that's 24 beers that you owe everybody here. <laughs> that's a lot of beer. I know, I don't even drink it, so I hope you're thirsty. It's over there, so it might not be your phone. It's somebody else's phone. Isn't this great? This is live television. Yeah, I know. I know. How dare you, whoever's phone that must apparently be. <laughs>